بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ مربی زدنی علما صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین The topic of this lecture is vectors in complex numbers. An important advice, be of benefit to others. You can find the link of the math website in the description where you can find the soft copy of this lecture. Vectors in complex numbers. There are two methods to do this. Number one, use head to tail rule to find the required complex number from the argon diagram. For example, if this is u and if this is v and if we need complex number uv then we have to use head to tail rule to find uv start from u and reach to the point v so according to head to tail rule we have to go two units right and two units down so the complex number uv will be 2 minus 2i what if we need vu then we have to start from V, we have to go two units left and then two units up to reach the point U. So VU should be negative 2 plus 2i. So this is the way to find complex numbers from argon diagram through head to tail rule. Here is the fair solution. By using head to tail rule, we can find uv. So we have to go two units right and two units down to get complex number uv. The answer is 2 minus 2i. Two <coughs> I'm sorry. Now the second method is calculations method. What if argon diagram is not given? Then use position vector method to find the complex numbers. And this is the position vector method. We write vector AB as OB minus OA, second minus first. So for UV, we have to write V minus U. If this is U and if this is V, then for UV, we need to write V minus U. Hence, we have got the same answer through calculations method. Past paper example. This question is from my practice book of complex numbers. Question number two. The complex numbers minus 2 plus i and 3 plus i are denoted by u and v. Find u plus v. This is very simple. We just need to uh, add the real part with real part and imaginary part with imaginary part. Collect all like terms. So the answer is 1 plus 2i. Now we need u upon v. u upon v is very simple. We just need to rationalize these two complex numbers. You all know how to do this. You can check the fair solution here. When you will rationalize this, you will get u upon v minus half plus half i. Now the next part of this question is let me first erase this right the next part is in an argon diagram with origin O points A B and C represent the complex numbers U V and U plus V so complex number U is A V is B and C is U plus V. So we have to first sketch these numbers on argon diagram. Well, this is the argon diagram. This is U and it is A, V, it's B, and C, this is 1 plus 2i. This is U plus V. Now the question is, prove that the angle AOB is 3 pi by 4. To prove angle AOB, this angle, we need to find this angle first and then this angle. And we need to use properties of argument. So AOB is angle A minus angle B. 
So we can write this as angle AOB is argument A minus argument B. See, this is argument A and this is argument B. When you will subtract argument B from argument A, you will get this angle AOB. Where argument A is argument U and argument B is argument V. Now, according to the property of argument, we can write this as argument U upon B. And argument U upon B, this is U upon B. And its argument is 3 pi by 4. Because this lies on y is equal to minus x. So its argument is 3 pi by 4. So we just need to copy the answer of this argument here. So always use properties of argument to prove angles of like this. Now the last part of this question. State fully the geometrical relationship between the line segments OA and BC. Here we have to use vector method to find BC. And BC will be OC minus OB according to vector method. And we can do this directly from argon diagram. This is B and this is C. We need BC. So we have to start from B. According to head to tail rule, we have to go two units left and one unit up to reach at C. So BC is minus 2 plus I and OA is also minus 2 plus I. Therefore, these two line segments are equal and parallel. See, this is BC and this is OA. Since OA is equal to BC and both are equal to minus 2 plus I, therefore OA and BC are equal and parallel. I hope this lecture will help you to understand how to use vectors in complex numbers and properties of argument as well. Good luck and Allah Hafiz.